Let's start this discussion with an experiment. I'm going to say a number and I want you to pay close attention to the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay, the number is 12. If you thought of these two symbols, I have good news and I have bad news. Let's look at the details. A numeral system is any writing system that allows us to express numbers using symbols. When we express a number using symbols, the result is called a numeral. And when we express a number using a numeral, the numeral is said to encode the number. Let's look at the number 12. 12. We have many different ways of expressing the number 12. We can use text, tallies, go old school with Roman numerals, or just keep it traditional with a decimal form. All of these are not numbers though. They are numerals that represent the number 12. All right then, what's a number and what's the difference? A number is a concept, it's abstract, and numerals give us a concrete way to encode or express this abstract concept in the form of writing. As humans, we encounter the concept of numbers naturally through counting. If we see an object in our environment, robot, we have the number one. And if we see another object of the same type, we have the number two. If we are learning to count and we see two objects, we can represent them in writing by literally drawing the two objects. This method for representing numbers is called a unary numeral system. And this is because there is a single repeated symbol that we use to count. Instead of drawing objects, this method has been optimized by using tally marks for the symbol and just adding a new tally each time we count an additional object. Tally marks beat drawing the objects outright for sure, but even still, this type of system gets pretty problematic as numbers get even modest in size. For most purposes, hundreds or thousands of tallies just isn't going to fly, and arithmetic like addition and multiplication won't work very well either. We need a better way. The binary and decimal numeral systems are both better ways. Binary and decimal fall into a category that we call positional numeral systems. Dude, cool. If we search in Google for list of numeral systems, we come onto this wiki page. We can see here a pretty large list of numeral systems that are ordered by when they first appeared. Several cultures and regions are referenced here. We have Egyptian, Roman, and Western Arabic to name a few. Looking lower, we come on to positional numeral systems, which is where binary and decimal are located. What may surprise you is how they are not alone. Each number starting at 2 and going up has a corresponding positional numeral system. For each system, we call the number the base, and we can reference a system using the base. The binary numeral system, for example, is called base 2, and the decimal number system is called base 10. If you're interested, come onto this page and check out the usage column for each system. For base 2, it says digital computing, our topic of interest for this playlist. And for base 10, it says the most widely used by modern civilization. This aspect of base 10 is where the good and bad news comes in that I mentioned earlier. I warned you, now you will pay! The good news is that you have probably already mastered positional numeral systems, but the bad news is that you may only be specialized in base 10. Don't worry though, all we have to do is generalize the method a bit, and bases like binary will be a breeze. Wow, alliteration. I'm here in a notebook that I've set up to allow us to explore how positional numeral systems work. When you're ready, check out the next video where we will use this notebook to examine binary versus decimal. The notebook gives us a way to see how numbers are expressed using both systems in real time. Until then, just remember that numbers are concepts and numerals are written symbols that encode these concepts. Hit the comments and let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you over in the next video.